Hello, Taurus. Elsie here to do a reading for you, my friends. It is a bonus read. And uh, as you know, I don't date or time these if you've been here before. And if you haven't been here before, welcome, welcome. If this is your uh, first shot at Ten of Cups Tarot and you enjoy it, I hope you'll say so in the comments. I hope you'll let me know that you're new. I like to greet people in the comments that are new. I like to be there as well. Thank you so much for all that you do. If you are someone who is always clicking here, you are my ride or die. Thank you so much for doing that. And if you are someone who is just brand, brand new, I hope that you will stay. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. It does make a difference in the way this channel grows. Thanks for doing that. Here we go. Just thought I'd throw some oracles, some tarot. You know how it goes around here. I like to mix up the energies. Let's figure out what's going on for you, Taurus. This is a bonus read for you, Taurus. Thank you so much for all the ways you eat up my readings. And here we go. Tell me about Taurus, the moon rising, Venus and Jupiter. I'm your bully sister, by the way. Let's take a look at this. We've got, oh look, humor. Look, it came out on the top when I was talking to you and then I put it back in because I wasn't ready. It came out anyway. It says, humor, I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. So I feel like right now at this moment, Taurus, you're just not letting it get to you. You're not letting situations get to you, people get to you. You're not letting work get to you. I feel like you're kind of uh, in a bit of a balanced and sort of zen zone, I want to say. That maybe your heart is balanced. It's a green card. That's the heart chakra, right? We do have indecision. And indecision says, I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. There we go. That would be why you would have a more positive outlook. Because you no longer have to go anywhere for your information. You don't have to get it from YouTube. You don't have to get it from other people. Not your parents, not your best friend. You make your decisions based on what your gut says to you. You're listening to the self and you're making decisions accordingly. So it does feel like you are choosing and it's a choice to focus on the lighter side of life. And it's because your, in, your indecision is no longer. And you know that if you do come up against indecision, that you are just going to be able to make a decision based on what your intuition is telling you. We've got gratitude. I'm thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. That tells me that possibly there are some opportunities that will present themselves to you. Coming up in the future. All right, let's throw a few of these. Sometimes I, you know, I have so many decks of cards, Taurus, that sometimes I forget I have some of these cards. <laughs> and a couple of new decks just arrived today. We'll, we'll look at those next week. <laughs> All right, let's take a look here. Tell me more about Taurus, please. What does Taurus need to know? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. What does Taurus need to know? All right. What do we got here? We've got Create. We've got intuition again. Look at that. Again, talking about your intuition. Taurus, I feel like there is something here. It says, use your intuition to create. I feel like there is something here that will make you money. Look, the fish and the water. And that is money. That is something that you know. The universe is with the moon in the middle and, and the koi fish swimming around. It feels very inspirational. I feel like you're going to be inspired to create something. We do have create and that's a really cute card. It does show like, you know, um, painting, right? There's paints, there's colors, there's uh, pencils, there's paint brushes, there's a tarot card in a doorway, which is, is leading to inside this box. It does feel like there is an idea, Taurus, that you might have that you have not put into motion yet. Something that you will remember. You know what's really beautiful about that, Taurus? Because I feel like I'm speaking to someone who is going to remember who they used to be. It's very interesting. Look, I've had a lot of jobs in this life. I've done a lot of things. And um, all of those things I know now as I look back were pointing toward what I was supposed to be doing is this. It's like I always knew I was supposed to be doing this. But until it really came to the forefront and I could see it, I was doing all sorts of other things. I think you're going to remember who you are. I feel like your intuition is going to remind you that you have some sort of skill, something you learned, um, something that maybe is from a past life. I feel like that's where prodigies come from, like something we learned in the last life. So we get into this life and we hit the ground running with that thing. And that's where a, how a prodigy is born. But I feel like you're supposed to create something here. And you're supposed to do that by checking in with you, checking in with your intuition. All right. 
throw some tarot, find out what other energies we have for you here. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me more about Taurus. Tell me about Taurus. One more. Tell me about Taurus. What do we need to know? Taurus, if you are interested in a private read, you know that there's a sale on, right? Maybe you don't. 10% off of all of my services over at Wizio. Please look below this video, click on more. You will see the link to Wizio and there's a code for 10% off if you're interested in getting in on a sale by the 25th of February. All right. Woof. All right. Here we go. We're starting off with the two of cups. Why is that? Tell me about that, please. Okay. What is this about? <laughs> Taurus, we've got the two of um, the two of cups, and we have the death card. Something is transforming in love for you, my friend. I've forgotten how much I miss this deck. I really love it. It gives me different energy. It makes me it gives me a different perspective. We've got the Mother of Wands, who is the Queen of Wands. Very interesting. We do have the Three of Pentacles. Taurus, I feel like there is a friend. Um, and it feels like it's somebody that you know or you know of, a friend of a friend. It feels like there's somebody you're thinking about in terms of love. And I feel like this is something that's about to transform here. That there, it feels like there is somebody that, if somebody ever came to you, Taurus, and said, look, if you could have anyone that you wanted, if, if it would work out for you and you knew it would work out for you, what, who would be the person you would pick? I think that's who we're talking about. It's somebody you haven't dated before. It's somebody that you're sweet on, somebody that you might have feelings for. Um, but it feels like it, it is something that will turn from friendship to love. Or it's a very stable kind of love. Tell me more. We do have the Daughter of Pentacles. And so that is the Page of Pentacles something new something ends Taurus I think we've been talking about this right if I'm not mistaken over the last few days we've been talking about you letting go of something that it's been sad for you to let something go but you had to let something go I think that's what's bringing in this inspiration I feel like your gut is inspiring you now telling you look Something ended back there and you didn't need it. And now here comes the Daughter of Pentacles, right? This is the Page of Pentacles. That something here is about to begin. There is an opportunity that arrives. And it looks like it's in a pentacle way. So it's sturdy and solid and you can count on it. You, it's, it's a truthful new beginning here. And I think it's because of, over the last few days, we've been talking about you letting go of something that you had to get out of your energy before you could move forward to something else. And we do have the Three of Wands. It's the ships that are coming in. The ships that are coming in could be the Mother of Wands. It could be someone who is Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Um, it could be someone who is in fire. Now, if they aren't in fire, and maybe they're not, it could be Scorpio, right? We do have Earth energy here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have... Um, uh, water energy here and so it could be a water an earth sign could be a Scorpio but it feels as though because something has ended that something else must begin and the ships that are bringing in something exciting because the the Queen of Wands is someone who is very independent this person is um, even if they're not a fire sign is someone who relies on themselves. They're very independent. This is someone who's probably a business owner, but also someone who can take risks. Someone who's not scared to, to fall and skin their knees. They don't give a crap if people see them fall and skin their knees. This is someone who's very brave. They're the, the mother of wands or the queen of wands is forged through fire, right? And that means that all the things that came to kill her just made her stronger. And that's why she sits on the throne. She's earned her spot. So it feels like somebody who's very um, bossed up. I want to say that the ships are bringing someone in here after a an ending here it could be an ending in love i think that for some of you also that that this three of pentacles and the two of cups tells me that this person could be a friend that you might already know them they already might be in your wheelhouse like maybe you don't see them every day maybe you don't text them all the time but maybe this is someone that you bump into now and then because you met them through a friend okay Put this here. We'll use a different deck for clarifying. We've got the Sun of Cups, and that is um, that is the Knight. 
All right. Tell me why the Two of Cups is here, please, for Taurus. Tell me why the Two of Cups is here. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me why the Two of Cups is here. Ooh. All right. We've got um, the Five of Cups. We've got the Death card. Interesting. We also have the Three of Wands in the reverse. And then we have the Seven of Swords. So look, it feels like something here is being concealed from you. Something here is being concealed from you. The Seven of Swords and the Three of Wands in the reverse tells me something is about to happen right now. No more waiting. You don't have to wait anymore for this to arrive. It feels like it's being concealed from you, but it's probably right in front of you. It's probably like sometimes, um, sometimes that maybe we have a back and forth with somebody. We have... Um, how can I say? It's like you, maybe you work with somebody. Maybe I'm not saying it's a work situation, but maybe you work with somebody and you have this really beautiful dance that you do at work. And sometimes it ends up being like, you know, work husband, work wife kind of situation. It feels like that. And it doesn't have to be at work. It could be somebody who you just move really good with. Like it seems like a, a soulmate connection. That's what it feels like. But I feel like because it's because you finally have let go of the past. You finally have ended this, um, this energy of feeling regretful, only being focused on the things that were in the past that you lost. I feel like that's why this is coming in. It feels like it's been there all along, I want to say. It's been there all along and you haven't chosen it, but you, I don't think you were able to because you can't see it. It's being concealed from you. So I feel like it's, there's now, the waiting period is over. The wait is over and I feel like something is in your wheelhouse, but you can't yet see it. Why is the death card here, please? I feel like the death is transforming that. I think you're going to be able to notice this person. Look at that. The two of cups just popped out. I feel like you're going to see this person for who they are. It could, for some of you, be someone who was pursuing you that you weren't interested in. And now maybe you're going to just let them in and say, okay, maybe we can go for coffee. Maybe we can work on this friendship. And even if it only ends up us ever being friends, maybe we should get to know each other a little better. We do have uh, the Three of Swords. So it feels like there is love after heartbreak. And that's what the transformation is here. Tell me more about Taurus. Okay. We do have... The Six of Swords. I love it. So this death energy is allowing you to move on. It is allowing you to move on to something more exciting. Someone who's more, um, who is more um, fitted for you, I want to say. And so they could be a fire sign, but they don't have to be a fire sign. We have all these other energies here as well. We got Scorpio. Um, we've got air sign energy here. It doesn't matter who the energy is, but it feels like they're very exciting. That this person is very attractive or they're very attracted to you. And this person is very exciting. Tell me about the Mother of Wands. Queen of Wands, please. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Tell me about the Queen of Wands for Taurus. All right. We've got that person. They could have a Gemini placement, but they are somebody who is very excitable. Someone who is very, they're going to get you to belly laugh. <laughs> That's what it feels like with this, with this um, Queen of Wands energy, with this Gemini energy. This is the one who's going to make you belly laugh. They're very smart. They're very um, witty. And this person is very sarcastically witty. I just love this Gemini energy. I you know how to put the spoon. I'm telling you, I love this Gemini, Gemini energy, especially when it comes up with the, with this energy of the Mother of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you're giving somebody a second chance here. And I don't feel like you've ever dated them before. I don't feel like you ever looked at them in that respect before. But this person's like, look, we can just be friends. Let me take you out. Let's go to a movie. Let's go for dinner. Let's just talk about some stuff. And I think that you're going to agree on it here. We do have, yeah, the two of swords. It feels like your eyes were covered. It feels like you, you didn't, you couldn't see this person. This person's wearing a blindfold and they're just kind of they're just kind of throwing these knives into this bullseye here. And what I want to say about that is that maybe you were, this person was on the sidelines and you were ignoring them, but you were picking that one and you were picking that one and you were picking that one and none of it was working out. And I feel like this person's like, look, we don't got to be in love. Let's just go out and be friends. I feel like you were blocking this person before, but I don't think you are anymore now. And we do have, well, I guess it did come up in the reverse. Sorry. We do have the two of wands in the reverse. So it, it, it almost feels like when the two of wands is in the reverse to me as a reader, it is like, I'm just going to bite the bullet and do it. This person's been bothering me to take me out for a very long time. Maybe I just need to give them a shot and not really a shot in love, but just a shot to be friends. Let's, let's solidify this friendship and see what this opportunity is about. Tell me about the three of the three of pentacles, please. Ooh. Three of pentacles. One more for Taurus. 
All right. We've got uh, the Page of Cups. In the reverse, we have the Ace of Wands. See, I don't feel like you see them as somebody who is... Um, Maybe you're just not attracted to them physically. Um, I feel like this person kind of just wants to be your friend. I feel like they want to just, you know, have somebody on their arm. I think they want to spoil somebody. I don't think that you have attraction for this person. Or if the um, Ace of Wands being in the reverse could say, I don't really see a passionate path here. I don't really want to put any sort of passionate energy into this but we do have the page of cups and so it does feel like um a little bit of how can i say affection that you have affection for this person you trust them they're solid you have affection for this person and maybe you do think about them once in a while thinking i wish it could be that person uh, we do have the wheel of fortune that was just sticking out of the deck here and so i'm going to put that down here too it feels like something really positive is coming from this and then we have the the three of cups that was sticking out of the deck here so it does feel like something really positive is going to come from you allowing this person to take you out go for dinner go to a movie go roller skating whatever it is i feel like you're just supposed to have excited fun something is changing here though i'm just gonna say a lot of you're saying no i that's not the person and maybe it's not and that's okay maybe this is not your reading but for some of you your attitude's gonna change you're gonna see this person with a different set of eyes when they take you out and they they buy you dinner and they make you belly laugh and um you're like i think you're gonna be very pleasantly surprised that you did take this opportunity to go out with this person tell me about the daughter of pentacles please tell me about the page of pentacles taurus we have <clears throat> the opportunity here is an opportunity to heal so it feels like <clears throat> Pardon me, this opportunity could also be a wish fulfillment that you wished you could just have someone in your life. Like, you know, a lot of us um, need a guy friend or just need a girlfriend, right? A, a friend who's a girl or a friend who's a guy. I have a, a, a friend who is a guy who gives me a lot of great advice about guys, right? I don't date him. He's not, he's not a love interest for me. But sometimes we just get together and we'll have a marathon three-hour conversation over coffee or we'll order pizza or... And I really love that. I, I love having a friend like that. We have um, the Seven of Pentacles. And so it feels like something here is growing. Um, something here is being nurtured. Like I feel like this new opportunity, you've decided you're going to nurture this new opportunity that maybe it's just, it's maybe it's just what the universe ordered, right? <laughs> the wish fulfillment. Maybe it's just going to help you heal. All these belly laughs are going to help you heal. Tell me what else I need to know about the page of pentacles, please. This is a new opportunity here. Yeah, look at that. The four of wands, uh, sorry, the four of swords in the reverse tells me that you've kind of been stuck in your head. Maybe you've been in healing from something. Maybe you've been healing from something and this person is just going to pull you out of that energy. Tell me about the three of wands, please, for Taurus. Tell me about the three of wands for Taurus, please. We have the four of wands the four of wands and we do have the devil in reverse look there's nothing bad about this somebody here is going to help you re uh, release the toxicity this person is not codependent they don't need you you don't need them i feel like they're they're going to help you release a lot of things um, that you needed to release. The Four of Wands is here, and I want to say this person feels like family. I don't think you see them as a brother or a sister, but I feel like they feel like they're part of your family, that you know that you can trust them. We have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. They pull you right out of some slump you were in, Taurus. That's what it seems like here. They pull you out of some sort of slump. And uh, there we go. There's the Page of Pentacles. So I do really feel like there is somebody really lovely coming into your life. And I don't think you're going to see them as um, a love interest. And maybe that might change. But I want to say that you have affection for this person. They are going to want to take you out and buy you something. Buy you dinner. Buy you a coffee. Whatever it is. And it's going to, whatever conversation, the reunion you have with this person that you haven't seen in a while, who is just a friend, is going to change the way you look at them. It's going to change the way you feel about them. And I'm not saying you're getting romantic feelings i'm saying that this person is here to help you heal and i feel like the star is here for that to help you heal it could be someone who is an aquarius we do have piscean energy here we have scorpio taurus aquarius leo we do have capricorn energy here um we also have yeah scorpio i did say that it, it does feel 
It does feel like with this death card here that the transformational energy is that somebody is going to ask you out. I'm just going to say that it feels like it's the beginning of a friendship that could lead somewhere to love because we do have the uh, Son of Cups who is the um, the Knight of Cups. It feels like it could lead to that in the future for some of you. And then we do have the Father of Cups. Look, it goes from romance to very deep love. And then some sort of... an. Something something new beginning here. Something new um, that you both invest in. Maybe it's a reinvestment in the financial um, uh, financial thing. Maybe this person wants to be your business partner. But it's something that changes your life. Having this person in your life is a really good idea. I feel like this person is also sort of trying to heal from something here. It's not only you, but I think that you're giving them healing as well. We've got the, um, the Three of Swords and the Eight of Cups. They might have been walking away from a relationship. It's like two people who just want to help each other heal but I think in the midst of it all it, it looks like for some of you not all of you of course that it will start out very benign as a friendship look let me just take you out this person I don't think they have an intention of getting you in a relationship but I think that what happens here is that we start to feel romantic about each other and then the feelings grow that's what it feels like here I just want to talk about this creative intuition thing here before you go all right well that one flipped right off the edge of the boat there I'm not going to die for it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we do have the five of pentacles in the reverse. We have the king of cups. We have the queen of pentacles. And the queen of pentacles is um, the challenge here. So I want to say that there is something brand new here. There is an, an opportunity here, but I think it's an opportunity that you create for yourself. I feel like you are reconnecting to your intuition. And I feel like this, this reconnection of the intuition for you, Taurus, is causing you to have a deep love for yourself. I feel like you're deepening the connection with you. And and then we have the Queen of Pentacles. Now, I said that this is something that I feel is monetizable. It feels like it's something that you already know that you will make a business out of or that you will start doing and slowly it will start to build. It feels like you're. it's something that you will remember that you are really good at. But I think with the Queen of Pentacles being in the challenge, right, coming out sideways, it feels like that might be the challenge, finding enough money in order to be able to start this business or do what you want. But I'm just going to remind you that the ace of pentacles is here and it feels like this person who takes you out to eat that possibly it starts as a business thing and maybe ends up in love and i'm just gonna leave all of that right there we have the five of swords on the bottom of the deck why is that because of the king of wands this person may take a step towards you in passion and you might feel uncomfortable you might be like no bro no thanks or no sis i'm good and i feel like that's how it goes back into the friendship but i feel like it's that this might be somebody who's feeling inspired to move forward, but you're not feeling that way. The Five of Swords tells me that maybe there's a little bit of a block. Like, I'm not ready for that, but yes, I'll go out with you as a friend, essentially. But I think, you know, you two working together is what it comes to. You two are going to work together with the Eight of Pentacles, and it starts a new cycle here. A brand new cycle that you really needed. A brand new cycle of healing, Taurus. And I love that for you. I'm going to go for now. Thank you so much for being here and watching. I will go, and I'll be back, because I'm always back. Doot, doot. Love you guys. Bye.